Mukul, you've been quoted as saying it's not just Tilak Ratne Dilshan. If there is an investigation, there are other names, and you'll name names. So, who are these other cricketers you know you're in touch with? Well, um, I don't think that I have to make any revelation to the uh, media for this. But yes, when the investigation authorities sit and uh, they question me, I will be uh, supporting them completely. I'll cooperate with them completely because I have full uh, faith in my law and order of the country. And um, uh, if and when they will ask me any names, um, I will reveal them. Are they Sri Lankan players? Are they Pakistani players? Are they Indian players? Gaurav, now you are trying to put words in my mouth. I am not uh, saying anything. I am not talking about the players. Yes, uh, because the Sri Lankan board has, uh, you know, rubbished all my uh, statements, and um, uh, that is why I have come out to uh, give a clarification. That you know cricketers, and you more than just know them. You've dated at least one of them. You've named. Are there others you've dated? Well, uh, I wouldn't like to say anything about this because uh, I don't think so. It makes any relevance to the issue that I'm here for. Okay. Uh, any Pakistani play? Absolutely not. And why, why, why this strong? Absolutely not. No, because I haven't. Standards. Yes, and I said that you know I believe in a no-name policy, so I would go with that. Okay. Now. Tilak Ratne Dilshan will be coming to India to play in the Indian Premier League. Uh, would you meet him? Would you talk to him? Would you clarify why are you naming him now? Well, the last time that I spoke to him and I uh, told him to at least give back the money that I spent on him, he stopped calling me after that. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say if he's coming to Delhi because I'm not in touch with him now. So, okay. I have, uh, I'm clueless about that. Okay. What is also being said uh, by our sources in, in, in the board? That you're doing this for publicity, that you know, uh, a starlet who did a role in Joe Bolet, Sonehal, and a couple of other ads, you are now this person who's plastered all over television and newspapers, and you're enjoying this, and this is your five minutes of fame. I believe, um, well, I can't say five minutes because probably this five minutes takes me um, for um, maybe five decades all over, but um, I, I definitely agree that um, yes. Um, People are speaking about it, but I have no um, answer to give to them because it's such a baseless and it's so rubbish to speak something like that. When my movie Jobole Sony Hal had released, it was a highly controversial movie. There were bomb blasts in Delhi. It was banned in Punjab. Um, there was a huge rage build up because of the movie and there were, the movie was shown on high security alert theaters. So I could have easily encashed on that and I had the footage uh, on that and taken up the mileage and um, you know done all my ne negative publicity to be done at that time. So, so are you it's doing completely, this to cleanse I the game? I am not going to wake up uh, after five years and uh, come up and speak about me right now. So are you doing this to cleanse the game? Is, is, is there match fixing? Do you know something about that? Is that what is happening and you want to clarify? Uh, well, about the match fixing, I cannot say because I'm not a part of it and I'm not involved in any such uh, activities, so I can't comment on that. But uh, the game, game is very clean. Um, How would you know? Uh, because I, I'm, an, I'm an ardent fan and I see the game. So I believe, according to me, that the game is very clean. And I'm not a judge here, I'm not a jury to say a yes or no to anything. But uh, if you ask my perception, I feel that the game is very clean. And uh, so are the players, so are the sportsmen. And I think, uh, you know, they, uh, they are real-time heroes and we, never, we should not uh, doubt their integrity.